Hi everybody, welcome to Music Moves for Piano Book 2, Unit 4. Let's start with the Duplomir song. Move with me please. Bum bum bum, sing with me. Duplometer moves in two, moves in two, moves in two. Duplometer moves in two, move in two with me. And chant macro beats on do, 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 micro beats. Day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Echo me, please. Do to do, day, do, day, do. Do ta, do, do, day, do. Do day, do, do, to do day. Do day, do day, do ta, do. I'm going to sing a song called Mexican Dance two times. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. The first time, would you make yourself into different pretzel shapes? Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. pretzel shape is difficult while standing up. I think you'd have to be sitting down really to do that last pretzel shape. Right? This time would you move your whole self in a very stiff manner in all the space that you can find but keep your feet glued in one spot. So move your arms especially in a very stiff way. Siberian Husky two times. The first time would you move only your hips, keep the rest of your body stationary. The second time would you move only your shoulders. We're going to do the song to sing for this unit, which is called Dressed in White. body dance like you're floating in water while I sing this song. Echo these rhythm patterns, please. These are in duple meter. Do day do, echo me please. Do day to do day, do day to do day. Do to day to do to day to do day, do day. So for the rhythm patterns in this song, I'm going to sing the first pattern of the song and then I'd like for you to chant the rhythm back. So I'm going to sing it and you chant. Ba, 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 listen please. Ba, 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 ba. Do day to do day, do day to do day. Now we'll do the third pattern of the piece. Here I go. Ba 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 
do to day to do to day to do day do day. Now for the rhythms in this song, this has two large sections that we'd call A and B. And if you notice in that first section, we had a smaller pattern that repeated. So we'd have a little a and a little a. In the second section, the B section, we also have a pattern that's almost repeated. The rhythm is repeated. So the rhythm is the same both times in our little b and our little b, but the, the tone changes, the pitch changes at the very end. So go ahead and echo these tonal patterns after me, please. La, mi, do, la, si, la, bum, 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 bum. La, mi, la, mi, mi, do, mi, do, re, do, ti, re, do, ti, do, la, do, la. So I'm going to sing a tonal pattern and then I'm going to sing the song and I'd like for you to try to figure out where it happens in the song. So here's the first tonal pattern. La, mi, bum, bum. Go ahead and listen for that in the song. Bum, bum. Here I go. Bum, 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 so that was right away at the beginning of the song. And then again when we repeat our A part. For the second pattern, the second pattern is mi, do. Go ahead and raise your hand when you think you're hearing it. Bum, 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 here I go. Bum, 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 bum. So I'll show you just in that first half of the song. Bum, 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 bum. And then when we repeat that, let's listen for That happened in both of our little B parts. And then last one. Do, la. So we're going to do just the B section of the song, the second half of the song. So this actually shows us the difference between our first little b and our second little b. So the end of the first b goes do ti 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 I'm going to sing 
some of these patterns and I would like for you to help me label them as tonic minor or dominant minor. La, mi. That pattern is tonic minor. Remember our tonic minor chord is la, do, mi. Mi, do. That pattern is tonic minor. Do, la. That pattern is also tonic minor. So this song we talked about, it has two large sections, our A section and B section, and four smaller parts. Little A, little A, little B, little B, but the last little B is just a little bit different. So I'm gonna sing the first half of the song. I'd like for you to move one way when I start to sing and move differently when you hear that melody repeat, when you hear that second little A. Bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, bum. That repeated melody, was that exactly the same or was it a little different? So that was exactly the same. And then remember how we talked about how the little bees are different from each other? Can you listen for that difference? Go ahead and notice that as we hear it. Go ahead and move one way and move differently when you hear the second little B part. Go ahead and sing this that second half of the song with me. Starting on bum, 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 bum. Sing with me. Now let's go backwards and sing the first half of the song. Bum, 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 sing with me. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go ahead and sing the whole song. tonal patterns in minor tonality. Let's do La, Mi, Mi, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, Si, La. Go ahead and sing these, just sing the patterns after me and then I'm going to have you try something different with these. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to sing some patterns and I would like for you to sing the patterns back in a different arrangement. So if I sing bum bum bum, you could sing bum bum bum. If I sing that same pattern, bum bum bum, you could sing bum bum bum. If I sang bum bum bum, you could sing bum 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 or if I sang bum, 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 you could sing bum, 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 whoa, throw that high note in there. So go ahead and sing back my pattern in a different arrangement. Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum.
you want more practice with this, please listen to the Pattern CD track five. That has those same minor tonal patterns in, with a neutral syllable. So they'll be singing those on bum. Let's go ahead and move in triple meter. Go ahead and move with me, please. Bum, 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 sing with me. Triple, now feel as we're moving in three. Moving in three, moving in three. Triple, now feel as we're moving in three. Move now in triple with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di. I chant micro beats. You chant macro beats. Do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di. Switch. Do, 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 do. Echo me, please. Do, 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 da, di, do, da, di. Do da di do da di do 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 da di do da di do do da di do 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 da di We're going to sing English folk song together. La, mi, do, la, si, la. Would you please move your arms in front of your body in a pulsing way with fluid body movement, so not jerking. La, mi, do, la, si, la. Bum, ba, 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 Let's do it one more time, and why don't you go ahead and sing with me? Ba ba ba, sing with me. Ba 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 Do, do. Pretend, please, that you are stuck in pudding and you're trying to get out by moving your hands and arms in the air. Imagine what that feels like to move your hands and arms through pudding. And when I stop singing, freeze and sing. Do, ba, 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 ba. Do, ba, 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 do, ba, 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 do, ba, ba. <laughs> Stopped in some strange places that time. This time, would you pretend that you're a tree branch or tree branches moving in the wind? Ba, 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 ba. We're going to do some triple meter rhythm patterns. Go ahead and move with me, please. If you're having trouble doing these movements, you can move just to micro beats. You could pat those in the air, or you can move just to macro beats. Swaying back and forth is a great place to start. Keep your feet on the floor, toes on the floor, heels are in the air. Do da di do, echo me please. Do di do di do da di do. Do da di do da di do di do. Do da di do ta da ta di ta do di do. Do da da di do da di do di do di. We're going to go ahead and come to the keyboard now. 
get yourself set up wherever you have a keyboard sit nice and tall check your distance and we're going to start with some keyboard geography and technique so we don't have quite as much to review this time as we had last time so for this one we're going to play some arpeggioed tonic triads. We have several that we're reviewing today. So we're starting with G is Do and E is La, and we're going to sing first. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. Let's go ahead and sing just our short version for the G major arpeggio. Do, mi, so, mi, do. Now let's go ahead and play the G major arpeggio. Then we're going to play and sing Do, La, and play E minor. Do, La. Now we're going to sing the short and long versions for E minor. Here's our short version. La, Do, Mi, Do, La. And let's sing our long version. La, Do, Mi, La, Mi, Do, La. And let's play our E minor tonic arpeggio. If you didn't get to play those with me just now, go ahead and pause and play those. And then we're going to play our arpeggio tonic triads when C is Do and A is La. So starting with C. Let's go ahead and sing our short and long versions for the C major arpeggio. Do, do, mi, so, mi, do. Now the long version. Do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. Now let's go ahead and play our C major arpeggio. <laughs> sing just the short version for A minor. La, do, mi, do, la. And let's go ahead and play our A minor arpeggio. If you didn't get to play those with me just now, go ahead and pause and play both of those. If you look in your book two, the green book, on page 12, the top left of the page, where it says keyboard geography and technique. Number one says play the tonic arpeggio triad for G, Do, E is La, C is Do, and A is La. Those are the ones that we just did. Sing using tonal syllables and play using a separated touch. So please circle that number one. We just did that. And then also we're going to play our tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence when G is Do and E is La. So for G major and E minor. So let's go ahead and sing while I play and then I'd like for you to pause and play. I'm going to play in my non-dominant hand here. Do, Re, So, So, T. that you can look in your book if you need to I didn't write down what page that is but that was a couple of units ago and then let's go ahead and play our tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence when E is lost so we're gonna play and sing do la from G to E let's do that together do, la. now go ahead and sing the minor cadence with me while I play la, do, pause this and practice that. And if you look in your book at that same place on page 12, you'll notice right under number one in keyboard geography and technique, number two says play the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence for G major and E minor. So please circle that. Just 
check in with that a couple of times this week. We're going to look at the exploration of creativity improvisation, starting with what's in your book. And we get to do all kinds of things today using the damper pedal. I don't know that we have used the damper pedal before. So if you look at your piano, your piano probably has at least one pedal. I hope it does. If it has only one pedal, the pedal is the damper pedal. That's the one we're going to use now. It's called that because when you play a note on the piano, if you can actually see inside your piano, like I can see inside of mine, if I look like that, the hammer is the part that hits the string. And then there's a part that goes up while you're holding the note. That's called a damper. Notice that when you let go, that part falls back down. So when that part is up, the string, which is what actually is making the sound, can ring. And when the damper comes down, it stops the sound. If you press the damper pedal, it lifts all of the dampers on the entire piano at once. So if you have an acoustic piano, that's a piano that's not plugged in, you may see if someone can help you this week open up for, if you have an upright piano, you'd be opening up the top and then you could probably look down inside. It may or may not be easy to take the front part off. Make sure you have someone helping you with this, a parent helping you with this. If you have a piano like mine, you probably can just look inside this way. If you have a digital piano, all of this is done electronically, so there won't be anything to see. But I imagine that if you look this up online, you can find something. And I have not looked to see if I could find a video that would show this. So if I find something that looks pretty good, I will put the link in the description box so that you can see that. So that's the damper pedal, if you only have one. If you have two or three pedals, that will be the pedal all the way over on the right side. That will be the damper pedal. The other pedal, if you have two pedals, the other one is called the una corda pedal, or sometimes we call it the soft pedal. If you have three pedals, the una corda pedal is the one all the way over on the left. The one in the middle is a special effects pedal. It's called the sostenuto pedal. We use it in some special circumstances. Okay, so we're looking at the damper pedal. All the way on the right, if you have two or more pedals, if you only have one, that's the one you've got. You want to keep your heel on the floor all the time, and the front part of your foot is going to move forward. But don't just try dragging your foot up with your toes. You can actually feel like your whole leg from your knee back, actually, basically between your foot and your hip is rocking back and forth a little bit. Let your knee help to pull your foot back so you don't have this kind of movement in your foot. That doesn't feel very good. Make sure that the ball of your foot, this is the closest to the ball of your foot that there is on your hand, that that part, here's my foot, that part is a part that's on the pedal. Don't try to play the pedal with your toes. If you do it too much, you might get a toe cramp and that is unpleasant. It just is. So that's the part of your foot that's on the pedal. Try to keep your heel on the floor all the time. Practice just slowly pushing that pedal down. Feel that whole knee rock forward and your whole body weight is going into the pedal. You're not just jamming down with your foot. So for this set of projects today, we're going to use the damper pedal. So for the first project, you're going to press the damper pedal to the floor, heels on the floor, whole knee is rocking forward. Experiment with soft and loud sounds when playing black piano keys in the bass area of the keyboard, somewhere over here. And circle whether you liked loud sounds or soft sounds better. So. Something 
Just try some things there. Enjoy the variety of sounds. You can play one note at a time, two notes at a time, but try something. So go ahead and please pause the video. If you do not have a pedal on your piano, please let me know. If you don't have a pedal, it's because you have an electric keyboard and you don't have a pedal currently that attaches to it, we can get a pedal for you so that you can experience this. So please let me know if you don't have a pedal, we can fix that. If your pedal's not working, please let me know that as well. That is also probably able to be fixed by a qualified technician. All right, second thing, press the damper pedal to the floor. Keep heel on the floor, rock your whole knee forward. Heel is flat on the floor. Experiment with soft and loud sounds while playing black keys in the middle area of the keyboard. different things and figure out what you think you like best at this moment. Go ahead and pause and try that. And then you're going to do the same thing in the treble area of the keyboard and then you're going to do the same thing in the high area of the keyboard. So please pause the video, try all of those things and write today's date over on the lesson side of all of those projects. Please, we're going to do this together when we have our group class check-in, please work with this at home. Try different things and then just show me a couple of things that you really liked when, you, when we have our group class check-in. And then also, if you notice over here on this side of the page, we have a couple other things. We're starting to look here more. So press the damper pedal to the floor, play a rhythm pattern, use black piano keys to improvise a musical idea. So this is not restricting you to any place on the piano. We're just going to add a rhythm pattern into it. Does it say duple or triple? So I'm going to do triple meter. I'm going to do do da di do do di do. different sound when you have the damper pedal down. And then number two, chant a four macro beat triple meter division pattern. Press the damper pedal to the floor, improvise with tones from an A minor triad. Let me give you an example for that. It could be in one spot, could be an A minor triad in multiple places. Do da di do, do ta da di do. You can do it twice. Just enjoy working through this. So go ahead and pause and do those two things. And then we have one more project from the book. I'm going to give you a rhythm pattern. There's always a rhythm pattern in every unit. So I'm going to have you play it on, chant it, play it on one key, and improvise using two hands and any keys, then answer yourself with any rhythm pattern. Okay, ready? Do da di do, echo me please. Do ta di do da di do ta di do. Do ta di do da di do ta di do. One key. Do ta di do da di do ta di do. Any keys. Do ta di do da di do ta di do. Answer. Now it's time for review. So we are going to start by reviewing Frère Le Jacques and Stepping Stones. Frère Le Jacques is in unit three. My brain just went, uh. Unit three, page 11. We're just turning back one page. 
So just to review this, I imagine this was pretty fast. It, you learned this pretty quickly, but that middle section, I just want to review those notes that are in the middle section. So remember this is in duple meter. Do, day, do, do, day, do. It's in major tonality. Do, be, so. Do is F sharp. Melody starts on Do. Check out the fingers that you're going to use in this hand and the two keys that you're going to have in this hand with those fingers. So in the middle section of the piece, after you have Play that melody once. Do, day, do, ready, play. And now I'm going to go ahead and play the duet while you play that one more time. Do, day, do, ready, play. We started this last time. We did a little bit. We did the beginning and the ending, and we're going to find that middle section now. So we're going to play this when F is Do. So take your pointer finger, find Do. Can you find our tonal patterns? Do, Re, Mi. Can you find Mi, Do. And can you find Do, So, Do. Now, notice me. Notice where that is. Can you find me below? So. Remember how it felt in the original? There was a little space between these two fingers. So find that me. And me do is what you're going to need for the middle part. Go ahead and play those two keys. All right, let's play this in F major. Do, day, do, ready, play. And let's go ahead and play it in C major. So same finger you're going to take to C. Do. So go ahead and find Do, Re, Mi. Find Mi, Do. And find, I'm going to sing Do up for this. Do, So, Do. And then find Do, Mi. Can you play those two keys together? Maybe you can find those. All right, let's play this. Do, day, do, ready, play. Singing in a couple of different octaves here, but that's what happens when, when you have a chiality or a tonic that's pretty easy to sing, then it's not a problem. But sometimes you have to try to figure out, oh, do I sing low, do I sing high? It's a little bit more challenging. So please mark down today, mark down new chiality F and new chiality C. If you already figured those out completely last time, cute, that's great, you're done with that. Also this week, I'd like for you to try connected style and separated style and loudly and softly. We talk sometimes about multiple ways to play separated style. So a couple of good basics for separated style. One way is to have a nice arm drop. Another way is to spring off of the keys like your fingers are jumping off of a trampoline. And it could be, it's not that you have to spring all the way off the key, 
but you have that jumping feeling, like you're jumping on a trampoline. That would be very useful, or that would work very well in this piece. So I'd love for you to try the springing separated style for this piece. So try that for this song. Loudly and softly, remember to let go of all of this energy up here from your shoulder all the way to your firm fingertips for loudly. For softly, everything is very light and gentle. That weight has gone away and you still have a little bit of energy in your fingertips. You're dropping just past the bottom of the key. So please mark down connected, separated, loudly, softly, and try those right now while you pause the video. And then we're going to look at Stepping Stones on page seven. So we turn back several pages. For Stepping Stones, we're going to add connected and separated style and loudly and softly to this song. Let's just play it once and then I'll have you go ahead and try these things on your own. Do, day, do, play with me. So for this one, you could do that same finger spring that would work, or you could do an arm drop. So just for the sake of comparison, why don't you do an, a light arm drop? for the separated style. So go ahead and try that loudly and softly. Mark down all four of those, please, with today's date. And then we're going to look at book one. So grab book one. I have my book here. We are looking at unit 14. So this is Rolling Hills on page 39. Go ahead and pause this if you need to. Grab your book, turn to page 39, get yourself set up. So for Rolling Hills, we have almost everything completed for this song. What we have left is the tonal pattern activities. So that's what we're going to do today. Take your time, find your spot, check and see where you're going to play on the piano. And let's go ahead and play this together. We reviewed this last time. I'll play it once and then you can play it with me. Do da di do, here I go. So go ahead and play with me. Do da di do, ready, play. one we're going to sing the tonal pattern what we're going to do is we're actually going to sing the melodic pattern so just sing the whole song while I play it and then we're going to figure out how that translates into a tonal pattern so what that sounds like is it starts on me remember our first pattern is mi, re, do. so we're going to sing mi, re, do. just sing that together. So you sing that while I play it again. pattern. For the first phrase of the song, it's going to sound almost the same when we sing it as a tonal pattern. Remember what we're doing is we're taking the rhythm out of it. So no repeated notes mostly and no long or short notes. So what this first pattern is going to sound like is mi, re, do, mi, re, do, do, re, that sounds exactly the same, except that we're not going to hang on to re. The second phrase will sound a little bit different. Originally, it was mi, re, 
do, mi, re, do, re, 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 do. We're not going to repeat re. So here's what the tonal pattern will sound like for that second half. Mi, re, do, mi, re, do, re, do. Why don't you sing that with me? We're going to do the second half of the song. Standing on me. Alright, let's sing the whole song. That's the entire tonal pattern. You can do it. Here we go. Mi, re, do, mi, re, do, do, re, mi, re, mi, re, do, mi, re, do, re, do. If you can, go ahead and pause the video and practice that by yourself. If you need some help, you can rewind a little bit and just practice that with me singing with you so that you have a little bit of help. So then we're going to perform the tonal pattern. I'm going to cross my legs here. Perform the tonal pattern means we're going to play it the same way that we just sang. So you can pick if you want to play in this octave where you're singing or if you want to play up here. It'll probably be easier to play in the same octave that you're singing. We're going to play it the same way you just sang, and we're going to sing along just to help. Are you ready? Go ahead and pause this and practice that. That takes a little bit of doing. And then we're going to create with the tonal pattern. So to create with the tonal pattern, we're going to try to put some kind of rhythm back into it and or some kind of register changes, octave changes. So the first time, I want you to go ahead and try putting some kind of rhythm in with this. And I'm going to give you a couple examples of what this could sound like. So let's see. I'm not thinking of a rhythm pattern. I'm just trying to see what kind of fits as I play along this tonal pattern. Notice I'm not changing octaves. I'm not trying to make it the original song. So that's one way to do it. Uh, another example of that same thing. So I'm going to play, play around with some rhythms here a little bit. You can make some pretty interesting rhythms. So that's one way. So go ahead and try it that way. Go, just wait a moment. Then also you can try with different octaves. You don't have to go that far. You could just keep going back and forth between two hands like it does in the original. You could go backwards. If you're doing it this way, I imagine that you're going to revert to the original rhythm of the song. Totally fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. But just want you to, by singing the tonal pattern without the rhythm, it separates us from that rhythm so it helps us rethink what else we could do. Okay, so please pause this, try something playing around with the rhythm, and try something playing around with the registers. So move your hands to a couple of different places or keep your hands in two places and try playing back and forth. Go ahead and pause and do that. Make sure when you're done with that, that you mark today's date over on Sing Tonal Pattern, Perform Tonal Pattern, and Create with Tonal Pattern. And you can put a sticker on the front cover of this book for Unit 14 because you are done with that. And then turn, flip one page, and we're going to look at Little Bird, or as some of my wonderful friends say, Lil Bird. We're going to look at Lil Bird on page 41. We're going to... Just quickly review the solo. It's been a while since we've played this song. So this is in duple meter. D 
do, day, do, do, day, do. It's a major tonality. Do, mi, so, so, ti, do, mi, do. Do is F. I'm going to go ahead and play that same thing that I just sang. And we're going to start on mi. If you look at the melody, we have only three notes. Looking at the melody, there are three notes. All right, so here's Little Bird. Do, day, do, here I go. So, mi, do, mi, do, re, re, mi. Go ahead and play that first phrase with me. is the same but we end on do. Bum, bum, bum. Play the second phrase. Let's go ahead and play that whole melody together. just to hear it with the duet. Do, day, do, play once more. And if, if this was easy for you before, you may try playing the root harmony. So the student duet is the root harmony. Your left hand is on do and so. Do is the beginning. Bum, bum, bum. Here I go. Do, so, do. Do, so, do. So go ahead and try that as well. I'd love for you to review that. You can try, go ahead and try that now. And then this week, I'd like for you to do separated style and then also chant, perform, and create with rhythm pattern. So we're going to just chant this rhythm pattern together and I will let you then play it on one key and create with it. So do, day, do, chant with me. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. So notice I'm keeping track of patterns one, two, three, and four. You could also be thinking of it in phrase one and phrase two. So that would be do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. So you decide what's easier to think of patterns or think of phrases. Now you don't have to move your hands like this. I'm just trying to show you how that would be. So figure out what's easier for you. Go ahead and chant this, perform it by playing it on one key, create with it by adding something new, choose where you're going to be on the piano, and we'll look at this at our group class check-in. Go ahead and do those. Make sure you mark today's date on separated style, chant, perform, and create with rhythm pattern. And if you have anything above that that you haven't done, let me know at our group class check-in and we'll do that together. And last but not least, we are going to work on a song that is all too familiar, I imagine. This is Hot Cross Bun. This is our song for Unit 4. So go ahead and move to macro beats. Decide if the micro beats are duple or triple. So this is in duple meter. Let's go ahead and chant do days for our micro beats. Do day do chant with me. Do day 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 do day. Is the tonality major or minor? This is in major tonality. Can you audiate the resting tone? 
Well, you might be hearing it here. Do. This song has two parts. I'm going to play part of the piece and then I'd like for you to chant the rhythm pattern. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, do, do, day, do. Do, to, day, to, do, to, day, to, do, day, do. So let's label those rhythm patterns. The first one is a macro beat, micro beat pattern. The second one is a division pattern. Duta, data, duta, data. Go ahead and echo this tonal pattern. I'm going to change my tonic just for a moment. Do, sol, mi, do, ti, do. Sing this, please. Mi, re, do. Mi, re, do. I want you to think through the song, and I'm going to, we're going to say it in this key. Bum, bum, bum. Go ahead and tell me how many times that pattern happens in the song. Just audiate the song. Hear it in your head. So we're listening for bum, bum, bum. So that happens three times in the song. Bum, 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 ba, 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 bum, 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 three times in the song. Go ahead and get out book two. Take your time and pause this if you need to find book two. Turn to page 13 for hot cross buns. For this one, you only need three notes for this song. So this is uh, in duple meter major tonality, Do is C, and we're going to go ahead and play our C major tonic dominant tonic arpeggios. We didn't review those today, but we reviewed, we learned those last time in our last unit. So they sound like this. to look at those to review. So let's play our C major tonic dominant tonic arpeggios. Do, mi, so, do, mi, so. Let's go ahead and play and sing the one tonal pattern from this song. Mi, re, do. Let's play it. Mi, re, do. Now, the C that we're going to use is treble C. Remember, if you count four sets of, of two black keys from the sides of the piano, one, two, three, four, that C is middle C. If we move on either side, it's bass C and treble C. The treble C is the one that we need for this song. Let's go ahead and play that tonal pattern one more time. Mi, re, do. Okay, so play the very first motive of the song, which sounds like or do day do. Go ahead and play that. Do day do. Now we're going to play it two times in a row while we chant. Ready, play. Do day do do day do. Now we're going to play the repeated notes. That's Duta data duta data or do 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 re 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 re. Let's play that. Duta data duta data. And that's a very gentle hand bounce. Notice how my whole hand and arm is gently moving. There's just a little bit of gentle movement in my wrist. My wrist isn't pulling my hand up and down. It's actually from my forearm elbow all the way down to my fingertips. Go ahead and practice that movement a little bit. And then at the end, we go back to our first motive. Do, day, do. Let's play the whole song. Do, day, do. Ready, play now. now 
the tonic and dominant changes with this song. That's like our root harmony. And let's do... Hmm. We did Do and T before. Let's do Do and So. Okay. Do they do? Here I go. Oh, why don't you play along? You play the melody. Do day do, here we go. So notice my chord changes are do so do, do so do, do so do so do. So in this hand, I have do in my. Oh, I think actually I did that backwards. It should have been do so do 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 so do. There, I'll find an octave yet. All right, so have do in your thumb. So is going to be in your ring finger. So go ahead and try that. And for that beginning motive, every time that happens, the root harmony is do so. changes. If you do that, practice this part by itself. Just play that until it's comfortable and easy. Then try playing your, your repeated note motive. That's all. You just have to repeat it. So go ahead and try that if you want to. If not, go ahead and certainly play the root harmony in this hand or root harmony tonic dominant changes. If you don't know why I'm using the term root harmony, that's something that we use in the Christmas book. So that term may be familiar to you from the Christmas book. If it's brand new, that's why I keep using it all the time. But in this book, it's going to say tonic and dominant changes. Okay, lastly, but not leastly, we're just gonna look over everything. Make sure on this hot cross buns, you try the melody in one hand, try the melody in your other hand. Make sure you practice that this week. Make sure you perform with the duet. You can do it with this uh, video. You can also listen to track eight and the audio tracks that go with this book and try the accompaniment, which is those tonic and dominant changes. So we looked at unit 14 and unit 15 review in book one. We did that today, today or over multiple days. Make sure you review all those pages that we marked. Make sure you marked those with today's date and everything that you practice at home, check off on the home side so that you have a whole bunch of check marks by each one. Make sure you listen regularly to the recordings and echo the patterns. Remember that you could listen to Pattern CD Track 5 to practice those minor, minor tonal patterns, singing them back and then singing them in different orders. Make sure you improvise and create every day. Always be creating something new. This week, I hope you're doing a lot of experimentation with the damper pedal, the pedal all the way on the right. Make sure you chant rhythm patterns when you play and look at the first page of unit four under the lesson time objectives for your assignments in the book for this week. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano book two, unit four. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.